West Country Whipping. Hello everybody. Today, I hope that's in focus and you can see that, we're going to do West Country Whipping and I believe originally it was used for um, preventing the ends of ropes from fraying. However, because it is a fairly decorative knot, because it's, it's just the same pattern all the duck way down, as you can see here, it's got a nice sort of fishtail chevron pattern on our actual cordage here. So, to be honest, this is one of the easiest covering knots to do. And so if you're decorating a hiking stick or something else for a quick, easy covering knot, why not give the West Country whipping a go? And if you've got to do the ends of a rope to stop it fraying, put West Country whipping on that as well. So anyway, let's get on and show you how to do it. Right, so as you can see, yeah, we brought the heavy cord out again. Just makes it a little bit easier for you to see. And I've got a slightly bigger pipe than I use normally. And what we're going to do is tie this. Now, the first thing we want to do is get our cord, paracord, whatever cord you're using, and just centre it. So fold it in half, find the centre, and that is now the centre of my rope or cord. And the next thing I do is I just pass it around the back of my object like so. So there we go. There's my object that I'm going to cover. And so the next thing that I do is I take the right hand side here and pass it over to the left. I then take the left hand side, bring it over the right hand side. But then we do, we just then now the... So the left hand side is going over the right hand side, then tie, take it underneath the right hand side like so, pull all the cordage through and tie your first knot. And hey, you'll all recognise this, it's about the only knot we ever knew before we started knotting. Or for those of you who have just started knotting, you might just be the only knot you know, who knows. Anyway, so what I've done now is I have now tied the knot on this side. And this is the hard bit now, this is our bit, turn it over. There you go, turn it over. And what we want to try and do is make sure that the next knot we tie here is at 180 degrees, so directly opposite the knot underneath. And once again, we take the left hand side, pass it underneath, sorry, we take the right hand side, Johnny, get it right, we take the right hand side, Pass it underneath the left hand side like that. So take the left hand side, bring it up underneath the right hand side and we just tie that into a straightforward knot across the top there. And pull it up nice and tight, as tight as you can. And when you're using, say for example, paracord or something like that, just make sure there's no twists in it as you pull it through. And hey, here's the hard bit again, turn it over. Right. So turn it over, and the next thing that we do is, yeah, you've guessed it, we take the right-hand side, pass it over to the left-hand side, take the left-hand side, bring it over the right-hand side one, and then underneath, like so, bring it underneath, pull all the excess through, and then pull it up nice and tight. Now just make sure, when you're doing this, you want your knot to be in the same position as the previous one. So just, if you need to adjust it, just adjust it slightly, like so, like so, and then we're looking for a straight line as such coming down there. So now we've done that, we just basically turn it over again, turn it over, and then we take the right-hand side, pass it over to the left, take the left-hand side over the right-hand one, underneath, let's see, underneath, there like so, and pull it up tight. And there we go, and you can see here now, you can see here now, it's slightly slipped over to the left there, so all I'm gonna do is just gently pull it up so that I end up with that knot in the right position. There we go, that's falling into the right position there, and we've got that pattern coming down that side there. And then all we do again now is turn it over. Turn it over like so, and oh, the monotony of it. But this is a great one for sitting in front of the television and doing. So we take the right-hand one, pass it over to the left-hand side. Take the left-hand side, pass it over 
the right hand one so, bring it underneath, down, through that gap there, and once again, pull it up tight, and just check to make sure it's got the same pattern as the previous one above it. And where it's chunky a robe, it's slightly more difficult to see the profile, but you'll get it. Anyway, and so once again, left hand, sorry, right hand, yeah, don't mix it up, mix it up and it'll look wrong. So right hand one over to the left hand side, take the left hand one over, underneath, like so, and there we go, and make sure it's in the right position, and there we go, we've got another one here. And we're starting, and you can push it together, and you can start seeing your chevron pattern starting to appear down there. And when you've done it all, you will end up with this. You can see here with thinner cord like paracord, it fills in the gaps and it looks good. And then finally on this one here, I've just finished it off here with a reef knot at this point. Now if you're doing a long staff, you can if you want finish it off with a reef knot, cut it off tight. Then what I would do is just to make it that look that little bit more decorative is probably put a nice Turk's head at this end here and then another nice Turk's head at that end there. That also locks this knot in place and because it's a reef knot, a reef knot doesn't take up much profile, it's a fairly flat knot. And so now if we put a Turk's head at this end, then a Turk's head at that end, we've got ourselves a rather nice swish looking staff. So anyway, that is it. That is West Country um, hitching. And yeah, it's simple, easy, wonderful. So anyway, once again, if you loved it, hated it, and please feel free to leave me a comment down below because I do try to answer all comments. And if you have any questions, etc., just ask away. So anyway, until the next video, Let's get knotting and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.